Hey, how's it going? Demon Driver here. And um, a project I've been working on for three years has been completed on one end. The building phase and designing phase and all of that has ended. And now the flying phase has begun. And with the Orion shuttle from 2001 Space Odyssey, I've got my work cut out for me. This is a brand new design that's never flown before, uh, ever. Okay, this is a brand new, I mean, this is the first time this has ever been flown in RC form that I know of. And um, of course, like any new aircraft, you're gonna have your bugs, you're gonna have your problems and your gremlins, and I definitely have that in the Orion. But of course, you can never get to success unless you try and you begin the process of flight testing, and that's what's happened. And um, it's not perfect, she has a lot of bugs, she has a lot of stability problems, but they will all be solved because that's what I do for a living. This is what I do for a living, and it's my job to solve the problems. Okay? So enjoy, um, enjoy the opening phases of the Orion's flight test program, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate your views. Thank you very much, and enjoy. And at the end of the video, I'll have a little, a little comedy bit, and uh, I hope you like it. Thing working against me. I got I got a, a puddle down there. So hopefully she should need that long of a takeoff run to get into the air. So by the time I get down there, I better be in the air or to the right of that puddle or I'm in big trouble. So the Orion is going to be a uh, is going to be a swimming.
I over I over pulled. I pulled up too much. The wind was just getting under it. Yeah. Did a little bit too much. All of the landing gear looks like yeah. good, you know. Looks like the landing gear may have uh it just started to pick. Uh, she's just, she's just twitchy. I'm just, I, I think I just had too much. I thought it was going to go. Yeah, I think I just got too, just too much elevator. That's what I think is happening. I think I'm getting up. She's kind of porpoise and I had her, but. Yep. She's just, uh. Well, let me ask you She just got this. twitchy on me. Let me ask you this. She hit the ball. It got her airborne. Yeah, board. yeah. Do you think it was too early? It may have, it may have been too early. It made it. Throw it down, did you? No, no. I was trying to keep her airborne, but I think she just—I think she just stalled. Ah, man. Dang it. Well, at least she flies. That's a good thing. Yeah, but real fast, the damage is just damage to the nose. Um, what I'll do is I'll cut away this damaged area, and I will pack in uh, block foam, cut it and sand it down, add spackle, resand it. And then repaint it, and you will not know that happened. And uh, there was some damage to the tail. This is all fiberglass, and I have mold for all these goodies. So that's the good thing. I can just mold another one of these, so it's not a big deal. And I can actually, if I had to, I can mold the whole tail because this whole stuff, it's all molded, and um, I can make more. That is the good thing about making molds. And this is the clear false elevator, okay? I think this is the culprit. Too much elevator is what caused my um, fugoid, or whatever the hell you want to call it, over overcorrection on pulling up. This is a clear, clear plastic rudder, tail, not really a rudder because there's no control surface there, it's just a tail for directional stability. Um, so the cool thing is it's clear plastic with carbon fiber inside, and what that does is it makes it so it's, you can't really see it. So what you really see is the outline of the Orion minus these control surfaces. But um, I think they help. I think she's way more, I, I think she definitely would not have flown just with that configuration. I think she would have been way more unstable and she would have needed a gyro if I didn't have the elevator. And I hate gyros. Gyros, I mean, why, just let the plane, why even fly the plane if you have gyros? Let the gyros do all the work. I don't believe in that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old-fashioned stick and rudder kind of guy. So uh, the damage is really not that bad. It's all pretty straightforward. Uh, easy repair. I would say within a few weeks, I'll have her repaired and back out on the flight field. Uh, hello, hello. this is a message for Dr. Floyd. This is Persa Santini with the uh, Pan American Spaceways. Uh, yeah, we, 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 uh, we, thank you for flying with us there, and uh, we, you know, we hope you had a good flight up to the wheel to the station. Um, we had a little problem, a uh, little, little, uh, in relation to your luggage there, uh, sir. Um, we have a new uh, flight attendant, uh, a nice English broad from Brighton, uh, uh, Bianca Ro uh, Dobson. Bianca Dobson's a name, very nice ginger ginger broad you know what they say about the ginger broads the lady very funny very good person but she you know how the NACA basically uh charters your flight for you and you're the only you know got, uh, you know you're the only passenger when you do when you always come up you know you're because you're a big shot and all that stuff uh basically in the galley um she was making you cream of chicken that you like over there and she was making the cream of chicken and the 
baggage jettison button is right next to the the thing for the cream of chicken and the and the food condiments that are in the galley. Long story short, she accidentally jettisoned your luggage. <laughs> I was just, I'm t- please don't be angry. Don't listen. It's we're gonna get your luggage. It's in low low Earth orbit, and we're gonna get. It. It's all. We got people on it right now. It's going to happen. It's happening. Your luggage is going to be a little radioactive for the next, you know, for a little while, but don't worry. The next 50 flights are on us. We're going to send a compl- 200 complimentary boxes of donuts up to your room in the Hilton over there. Everything's okay, uh, Dr. Floyd. Don't tell the NA. Listen, we love the NACA. Tell them we all love them and everything's fine. And whatever you're doing, whatever secret covert crap you're doing, we, A. And American Spaceways is with you. We want to help. Ah, huh? don't be upset. We're gonna. Everything's gonna be fine and nice. And just thank you and be happy. And uh, if a, a gorgeous uh, chick by the name of Belinda comes up to your room, it's on the house. Haven. God bless uh, Dr. Floyd. And uh, okay, bye.